Hey guys, it's me again. I'm doing another vlog. This one is actually about one thing. You can kind of see it a little bit right here. And if you don't read titles, then you won't know. But I mean, if you read titles, then you're going to see it. So, spoiler alert. But no, I'm going to be talking about Robotech and Macross. Like, my Robotech and Macross collection. I'm not going to be able to show all of it, though, unfortunately. But I will be able to show some of it. So, uh, first and foremost, I would like to apologize for the fan noise. Unfortunately, it's right here. And it's really hot. Like, right now, I'm having trouble with the AC unit. I don't know what's going on, but it's at like 98 and then it drops and cools and then it goes warm again and then it cools down and then warm cool warm cool it's driving me up the wall but I figure you know random idea because arcade Android actually gave me the idea because he said he would love to see the Robotech collection now while I can't show all of it I will give you a basic idea of most of it the easiest thing of all that I could show you is the DVD collection. Um, I can't show the VHS tapes unfortunately because there's a lot and they're not really in a very good spot. Um, I also have comic books which I can't show all of them because again it, it would really make this video really long. If I get like a handheld camera it'll make it a lot easier because then I can spread it out and be like so this is my collection. The end. Have a good day. Excuse me. This cup looks blue, but it's not. It's like a blue-green. It's weird. It's really hot. I was drinking my Mountain Dew, but it became very hot for that, so no Mountain Dew for a while. Alright, so first I guess we start with the basics. Um, how I got into Robotech. It actually started when I first got into anime. Uh, the first anime I ever saw was Fushigi Yugi, as some of you should know by now. Uh, but for those who don't, that's the first anime I started watching because a friend of mine got me into it. So that's how this whole thing started. My friend got me into it and I actually haven't talked to that friend in like forever. So it's kind of, it's kind of sad, but it's kind of expected. You know, you have fallouts and stuff and, and I don't like making phone calls. It's horrible, I know, but it's, it's true. It's very true. I don't. You can ask anybody who knows me. I prefer to text you. I will email you. But call you? Pfft, forget that. Okay, so, you know, I got my anime from the library because that was before we even had internet. Ugh, my age is showing. Ugh. So I didn't have internet, so my only means of getting anime was the library, which thankfully they had. And I believe this was the transition between VHS and DVDs over there, so it's really crazy. So they had like the small section of DVDs and this pretty decent sized section of VHS. Of course, VHS tapes are really big, so it may not have been as much of a selection as the DVDs, but anyway, there was a selection. So I got Fushigi Yugi, I got Saber Marionette J, which was funny. And then I saw Robotech. And I'm like, ooh, this looks interesting. As you know, it looks all sci-fi and kind of like Gundams, which I know Britt and Dylan liked watching. So it's like, ooh, what's this? And I got hooked because it's basically a space opera. But the funny thing that I found out, and I'm no Robotech no at all, I just really like the show, is that uh, it was based off of the Japanese version. Uh, Super Dimension Fortress Macross. So, they didn't have that version. They only had Robotech. So, Robotech is all that I knew of. And then I found out about all this other cool stuff and whatnot. So, you know, it just sparked. Just boom. Then I found out they had games, they had this, they had that. It's like, oh, I want everything. So, I guess to start it off, I have a whole bunch of the collections. I, I have a problem. But there's a reason behind them. So I will go through the uh, selection of DVDs and then I will go to the games and the comics and whatnot and stuff. So, here it is. 
first and foremost, we have the first one that I got, besides the VHS tapes. I'm not sure if I got DVD first and then the VHS tapes, or if I kind of collected both simultaneously? I don't remember. But uh, the first collection that I got that had all of them, after I think I've watched all of the DVDs from the library, I'm like, I really like this show. I want to watch it whenever I want to watch it. You know, instead of you know, going to the library, renting it out over and over and over again. Because I think some of the discs didn't quite work well. It's either this or some other anime they had. No, that was uh, Witch Hunter Robin did that they didn't have the final disc or one of the discs didn't work so there was like a few episodes that I never got to see but that's that's talking about other stuff but the first collection is this one the Robotech protoculture one where I still have the uh, the paper around it but this was the first one that I got I got it off eBay when I still did eBay um, as you could tell it did not wear very well um, it's very worn. I think I got it used, but it's worn here, it's worn there. But, let me see if I can get this without breaking stuff. Ah, let it go. It's gonna be hard to put back on, so. But as you can see, it does not do well when you ship it, so. And then when I watched it, because this is not a different, ver this is a different version-ish than the one that I was used to. And you know, you kind of get attached to the version that you watch first. Um, it's, I think that goes for anything for me personally. You know, you watch one version and then you watch another version and you're like, I like the first one better. So, biased opinion, really. But uh, when I watch this one, I'm like, wait, they changed the opening theme. They didn't really change anything else. Like, there's extended, it's the extended remastered edition, so they remastered it. But it took away the uh, 80s, the 70s, 80s nostalgia factor that it has within it. Because, you know, this is an old show. It's not new. It's not 90s. It's like 70s and 80s, I believe. It's like 70s, like the beginning, like near the end of the 70s and throughout the 80s. Around that era. So I had this. You know, it has the uh, three sections. It's like three sagas. It's, uh, I can't remember it, so I'm looking over here. The Mad Cross Saga, which is the first one, the Masters, which is the second one, and then New Generation, which is the final one. So it's three in total. And it has all three, and then of course it has the extra. Which I don't remember what else on the extra. It's got like documentaries and stuff like that, you know. Stuff you watch whenever you really, really like a series. And you really want to know like everything about it. So, you know, I was really disappointed with it. So, being disappointed, I really wanted the ones that they had at the library which took me forever to collect because there's three of them and they're different, like, they're hard to find. Now it's blowing hot air. I'm sorry. No, it's still blowing cool this year. So I had this one, wasn't really happy with it, but it's hard to find the other ones, so it took me a while to collect them. But I think the next one, yes, the next one that I got was this one. It's skinnier, as you can see. And, oh wow, this, this one's broken. I don't know if it's because it's in the uh, otaku room, because it's, it gets really hot in there, so I don't know if that's what distorted it, or if it's just wear and tear. But next up that I got was this one. This one, oh, this one has the documentary. And it has the movie? Oh, it's that one. It just has the complete one, so I was hoping that this would be like the same thing and it's also shiny. I don't remember where I got this but uh, it's nice and you know each one is in its own little thing. I'm just gonna grab one of them. But they're all in like a single case and I actually like the way that they did it because it does this. I'm looking at it to make sure I'm doing it right. And then of course it has like the episodes on it and whatnot. I think all of these do that. I think. So there was that, but it still wasn't, you know, the one that I really liked. Okay, it does say on that. I was like, it doesn't say. Uh, the Robotech Archives, that's the other one that's on there. So you know, it wasn't the same, but at this point, hello, hi. I, I'm just gonna set it right there. Uh, between then, I finally got 
the last one of my favorite, I think this is going to be my favorite box art and box cases, is this. This is what I found at the library. They, they're kind of cheapish and they fall apart a little easily, but I really, really like them. They're my favorite. Uh, we'll open one up. It's kind of hard to open and close because it's got the very cheap plastic, so you have to like match it perfectly. But, oh, it still has the cover art and stuff. But I really like the art on the DVD. It's really simple, but it's straightforward. Let me open the other one. Each one is different, of course. And uh, I think what's written on them is either like the theme of that or, oh shoot, I kind of sort of, oh, it pops out. I don't think it's supposed to do that. But, uh, whoops. No, I think it can. I just kind of like slip it in there. I'm gonna have to fix that. I broke my favorite one. That was stupid. I will fix it, but not now. So I finally got them. I my favorite ones, and I just broke it. Oops. <laughs> I will fix that later. So they were actually not too bad a price. Uh, one of them was twenty. I don't remember how much this one was, and this one was twenty-five. It's one of those ones where I won't, I don't have to have a coupon. I am buying it because I really, 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 really want it. This is in my way. I have no room on this giant desk, which makes no sense. Uh, so then there was also the movies, which the only one that I could find is the one that was released around my birthday, and it has Mark Hamill in it. So I got this version full-length feature film. Nothing special about it. It has a few special features, but it's uh, just like the making of and like the trailer, which is, I don't know, but you know, it's got the cool cover art and it's shiny. And I have a wall scroll. I bought the wall scroll because the movie was pretty cool. Uh, but I got a wall scroll for this. It doesn't look exactly like this. I would show you, but it's in the other room. Uh, so I had that and then somebody gave me uh, the two disc collector's edition, so I've got that. I think this is more like what the wall scroll looks like So it's cool. I like this actually the way that it looks and stuff. It's like dark and it's like white uh, But this is what it looks like. This is like an ongoing theme with the Robotech stuff um, But you may or may not know, there was more movies to Robotech than this one, and they were really hard to find. So naturally, I really wanted them. That brings the final set that I've bought for now. The complete set. This one right here, $45, really good price. <coughs> I've got dust. But it includes the complete series, so, you know, Macross Saga, New Generation, Masters, and the three Robotech movies. The only downside to this, though, is, you know, it's all nice and compact, right? Ooh, it is not my favorite. Okay, it's got the uh, typical, you know, all of the DVDs on there. But, if you look carefully, it's two DVDs. So, there's one DVD, and then there's another one behind it. Yeah, this is like... Not my favorite. It's cool because I've got the movies now, but uh, I really don't like. Mm, I really don't like that. But there's, I mean, to get the movies, it's the best deal. So there's that, and that is all of the Robotech box sets. <laughs> I did the buy the box sets because they have the individual DVDs, but if you bought the individual, it would take up like a whole shelf. As it is, it's already taking up like half a shelf. <laughs> Move that out of my way. Ooh, microphone bubble. Uh, but I did mention that there is Macross, of course, is the Japan one, which I don't know. I haven't watched it yet, so I don't know what the difference is between besides the names and of course the voice actors. So I don't know what else there is different. But most people scoff at the Robotech version, but. I like it because biased opinion. I grew up with it in a way. Uh, but I've also got these. Let me 
make it show it's in the micro. Uh, it's catching the glare off of the computer monitor. But I got these. I'm missing number seven, and I'm pretty sure there's more than that. Uh, this one, this two. Oh, okay. Confusing myself. Uh, episode thirty-two. I don't know. I'm gonna have to watch these though, because you know. But it's the uh, Japanese language with uh, English subtitles, so there's no dub. The dub is Robotech, technically speaking. So I've got that. I'm pretty sure there's more. I don't have them all. Um, and then I have this, Mac Ross Plus, which is in the same uh, universe. I'm not quite sure what these are, but I got them. I haven't watched them yet, because I was trying to get... Uh, what are the volumes? I didn't have I didn't have volume one. I finally have it, but I haven't had time to watch them, which is kinda sad. But uh we got these and I don't have the movie. There's a movie. I think there's a movie. Yeah, there's a movie. He's hot. So I've got these, which is cool. And that's really it for DVDs. And then of course there's VHS, which I can't show, but I've got I don't have all of them on VHS. I've got a nice chunk on VHS because uh why not? You can get the VHS ones for cheap. Uh, next up, I will show the comics, I think. Oh, it's difficult. Uh, this isn't all of them, mind you. Uh, but these are all the graphic novels that I have. Uh, but just to show them off, I've got these comics. So, mm, 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 mm. Uh, trying to show them off and it's not working. But we got these it's from Comico got front and back. It's pretty cool. I like it. They're hard to find though, so I've got a nice amount of them, but I don't have all of them. And then I also have like the side stories and all of the saga ones and whatnot. Oh, I have books too. I didn't get them. Uh, I'll show those in a book collection though. But I've got books. I've got uh, Macross Saga, I guess you can call it, and then The Sentinels is the next one. So... Uh, but I've got this one. It's in Spanish. Because why not? But I've got this. Ah. This. No habla espanol. I just thought it was cool. It's a uh, volume 2 of 2. So I'm missing one. And then I've got this one. Which is the prelude to it. To the movie. So this goes before the movie. And I think that's pretty cool. It's actually really nice. You know, it's for the... Robotech 25 years, old cow. And then I think some, no, somebody gave me this one. I think. Somebody either gave me this one or this one. Comics are falling. Look up, look up, look up. Comics are falling. That's in Robotech, one of the songs. And I've also got this, which is Robotech 2 The Sentinels. But it's cool. So yeah, that is it for the comics and graphic novels. I wish I could show more, but I don't want to spend forever, and it's way too much, so it's way too hot. Uh, so last but not least, are the video games. Ooh. But uh, first and foremost is my favorite, I think, of all of them, is the Chibi one. Eh. Yeah, Macross Saga. It's really cool because it's a shmup, but in the theme of Robotech, your little fighter can transform into just a plane, like the plane with legs, or Gundam style. Aerotech fighter, yeah! I forget the actual names. It's been a while since I've watched it. Uh, and then I have the two PlayStation 2 games, Battlecry and Invasion. I haven't really played in Invasion? I don't think I've played it anyway. If I have, this one was the better of the two. But this one, I almost played it all the way through. Uh, but I got stuck near the end. There's like one part where you have to fight the Zentradi, they're the bad guys. And I get, I keep dying. It's either because there's too many of the bad guys or it's a, like a time limited one. I can't remember, it's been forever. But, uh, it's a fun game. It's, it's hard, but it's a fun game. 
but my favorite is the GBA one because it's just like the schmuck and then you could pick like the characters that you want to fight as so I like it <gasps> that's it that is all of the Robotech stuff I could show and that's all I could talk about I wish I can go into further detail like you know the intricates and stuff like that but like I said I just really like the show I'm not the number one fan in the whole wide world I don't have any action figures I don't even have a shirt I wish I did because I'd be wearing it instead of this oh well it's too hot to wear a shirt anyway Ugh. but yeah that is it for me I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys want to hear me talk about any other little collections that I have feel free and I will do a blog sort of thing about it why not? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.